All right, we're back at it for our week five videos, uh, exam prep guide part six. And this video is a discussion about vertical decentration. Vertical decentration uh, is just really measuring how far from the datum line or the 180 line is uh, a segment set. In the example that we've been given um, on page seven, uh, we can see a lens drawn out here. Um, our lens does have a, a lined bifocal or a flat top uh, bifocal. And um, the datum line uh, in this example is set at uh, 25 millimeters, telling us that the entire B measurement or the entire vertical length of this lens uh, was uh, 50 millimeters. Because remember, the datum line at 25 is half, one half, of the B measurement. So 25 was half of our total B measurement. Again, the datum or 180 line, um, both referring to the same um, measurement on the lens. In this example, they're showing us that this segment was placed at a seg height of 22 millimeters. So when we measured for our seg height, we measured 22. And vertical decentration is just basically saying how far away is this top segment line of 22 away from our datum line at 25. And we would say that then we do 25 minus 22 tells us that difference between the datum and the seg, which in this case ends up being three millimeters. And because the seg height of 22 sits below the datum line, we would say that it is uh, three millimeters um, below the datum. So below the datum, less than um, that halfway mark on the frame. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at page 17. Um, our practice examples for uh, vertical decentration and uh, tackle question uh, number nine. So in question number nine, they've told us that the B measurement of our intended frame is 52 uh, millimeters. The seg height uh, for our patient is at 23 millimeters, so we need to kind of lay this all out here. We've got a B of 52. We have a seg height of 23, and we've got to uh, determine what is the datum line measurement of our frame. So we're going to grab that calculator. We're going to do 52 divided by 2, so that's that halfway point. We're finding that at 26 millimeters, so the datum or 180 line is at 26. We have a sag of 23, uh, so then we need just to do our datum minus our sag height for a difference of 3 millimeters. And again, we would say that this is below because our seg height is less than or set below uh, the datum line. Now, let's take a look at number 11. We can end up in a situation uh, where the seg height is actually placed above the datum line, and number 11 shows us that example. So in this scenario, we do have a B measurement of 50, we have a seg height of 28. So we do our frame or lens measurement in half. So 50 divided by two tells us that the datum line in this scenario puts our datum at 25. Um, in this scenario though, our seg height actually sits above at 28 
millimeters. So the seg is actually three millimeters above our datum line. In this case, you can do your 28 minus 25 equals that difference of three, and we can see that our seg is higher than our datum, um, so it's a plus three. Uh, it's up three millimeters higher. Um, so we've got our measurement there. On your calculator, if you feel more comfortable, um, you can do 25 minus 28. That's gonna show you your three. Uh, we just have to remember that uh, it's three above. So um, again, this is our calculations for vertical decentration. Um, just that comparison of the uh, datum line to uh, where the seg is placed and then that difference um, between the two. Hope you guys have a really good week. Uh, call if you have any questions. Talk to you soon.